Hey everyone, and welcome to our final 2v2 tier list update for BFA. With just under a month left until the season ends, we felt it's the perfect time to take one last look at where the meta has arrived for those of you looking to push for your elite sets, tabards, or to cement yourself in the history books at the top of the 2v2 ladder. But before we get started, if you're as excited for Shadowlands as we are, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified the moment we release all of our awesome upcoming Shadowlands content to stay in the loop and be as prepared as possible for the new season. First, let's take a look at what changes have occurred in our class tier list. The only addition to our S tier comes from Survival Hunters. This has mostly come down to the sheer number of Assassination Rogues and Demon Hunters seen play in twos. With Survival Hunter being a pseudo counter to these classes, they're naturally able to perform quite well and pick up wins against these specs. Survival Hunter previously performed quite well in twos regardless, but with rogues and DHs tending to favor full gushing wounds and reaping flames as their build, not only are they easily controlled by hunters, they also fall quite easily in their intimidation stun, which can't be dodged with blade dance or evasion. Next, we have four classes dropping down from S into A. While Unholy Death Knights are the only DPS that fell, the trio of Holy Paladins, Resto Druids, and Mistweaver Monks also leave behind Priests as the only current S tier healer. Starting with Unholy DKs, their fall from Grace in twos has mostly been due to the absurd amounts of versatility everyone is able to use now. We're seeing classes use upwards of 60% verse which has caused Unholy DK's offensive pressure to suffer quite drastically. While they previously relied on playing a full gushing wound build, they simply aren't able to output enough damage to players that equip 7, 8, or even 9 versatility amps. Still though, Unholy DK's perform quite well in dampening, which is what keeps them in our A tier. Moving on, we see all three of Holy Paladins, Resto Druids, and Mistweaver Monks drop down to A. This change is less about them and more about Priests. Both Disc and Holy have truly ascended to the next level now that they're able to use such high corruption levels. We're seeing Disc Priests continue to dominate at the top of the 2v2 ladder with a plethora of different comps, including with an Assassination Rogue, Survival Hunter, Rep Paladin, along with a few others. Using full versatility amps has allowed Disc Priests to become practically unkillable against most, aside from Demon Hunters, but they usually pair up with classes that assist in taking down Demon Hunters, which helps deal with that issue. Their damage is high, their healing is high, their CC is high, what more could you ask for? Well, a Holy Priest. We've recently seen Holy Priests take the ladder by storm as the addition of the corruption system, which allowed them to increase their haste to godlike levels, has really flipped the 2v2 meta on its head. Holy Priests are completely dominant in almost every single way. You can't CC them, you can't kill them. Meanwhile, they'll be endlessly CCing your team with Chastise, Psychic, Scream, and Mind Control, while effortlessly topping their teammates with one button, Greater Heal. So while Holy Paladins, Resto Druids, and Monks remain great healers, they just pale in comparison with what Corruption has turned Priests into. Alright, moving on, let's get into the changes in our comp tier list. We've got two new additions to our S tier in the form of Assassination Rogue Holy Priest and Survival Hunter Holy Priest. A recent discovery by Europe's top Holy Priest, Zen, Assassination Rogue Holy Priest has proven to be almost unbeatable by any comp. With what's essentially an unstoppable setup every 30 seconds with Chastise into Fear on the healer and Kidney Shot on the DPS, the comp effortlessly plays itself and does what almost no other healer DPS comp can do in twos, in terms of frequent cross CC setups. In addition, the high mana capabilities of a Holy Priest means that you lack the biggest weakness the Assassination Rogue Disc Priest variant of the comp has against Demon Hunters, which is to lose on mana. Altogether, this comp is capable of winning in the opener or prolonging the game and winning in dampening due to the strength of rogues in late damp and the absurd healing from Greater Heal. Next, we have another Holy Priest comp, pairing them with a survival hunter. This comp has many similarities with Assassination Rogue Holy Priest. However, the biggest difference is what feels like the endless CC it has for healers. Between the stun from both the hunter and the priest, along with freezing trap, psychic scream, and 0.5 second mind controls, healers shouldn't expect to have much control over their character at all when facing this comp. Survival Hunter also brings a ton of peel in the form of roots, there's done, potentially a trap, Mending Bandage, and Roar of Sacrifice to really slow down any momentum melee are able to gather on their Holy Priests, making this comp extremely strong defensively. Ultimately though, what makes this comp so strong is a large number of DHs and Assassination Rogues scouring the ladder, and with Survival Hunters essentially being a soft counter to those classes with Roots and Mending Bandage, many will find it quite the task to take down this comp. To round things off, let's take a look at the changes to our A tier. We've seen Windwalker Holy Paladin swap over to being played with a Mistweaver Monk instead. While the Holy Paladin variant is still viable and Windwalker Monks also play with several other healers, 
The shift in the meta which was started to see more holy priests has seen a return to the once overpowered double monk, being able to rotate double ring of peace along with a more frequent access to leg sweep to lock down the holy priest makes this comp very threatening to them. Survival Holy Paladin has also changed healer, favoring a disc priest in this tier. While ineffable holy paladins are strong and this comp did once pretty much counter rogues, disc priests just offer so much more than holy paladins in twos right now in terms of both their longevity and frequent CC. And finally, Feral should also consider picking up a Holy Priest as their partner. While Feral Disc is still fine, Holy Priests have proven yet again that they can pair up with almost any DPS and take them to the moon. It plays much like Assassination Rogue Holy Priest, combining the Feral Stuns and Burst with the Holy Priest's Chastise and Fear onto the healer, something that the Disc Priest variant isn't able to do as easily. Alright everyone, that wraps up this meta update on the best 2v2 comps in our S and A tiers. If you're interested in checking out the full tier list, it'll be linked in the description below. So be sure to head over to Skillcapped if you want to find out what the best comps are for your class. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.